through you um you do your gainer and while you're in the air you're depending on which way you twist um I don't think about wrapping both my feet together I leave my left leg doing whatever it it does um it usually stays bent my right leg is either closer to straight or whatever that's just how I do my corkscrew um you you set up into your gainer and once you're inverted you're gonna twist really what that means is you're connecting your right shoulder to your left shoulder and your right hip to your left hip okay like this you can't is if you just look over your shoulder and pull yourself to the side that's gonna yeah you're gonna maybe do a half or something think about placing this side of your body on this side of you and if you continuously do that that will help you you twist so when I'm doing my cork um, because I've always I've always been a twister twisting is really easy for me it's hard for me to explain how to twist um, but um, I can I can tell you that if you can do that full twist on the tramp or the floor I don't need to explain how to do the full twist I'm just gonna tell you that to land your corkscrew you need to hit on almost a completely inverted point you need to be almost upside down if you're going to do a slant gainer you need to be here before you twist because if you twist here's your the level your flip for your corkscrew it's right here okay right here now if you kick up your leg up to here and you twist here you're going to end up about um uh, think about it as wherever you start your twist that's where you're going to open up on the other side of the flip so if you're here and you start your twist right off the ground you're gonna open up inverted that's just a general tendency I've seen so if you kick to here you're gonna open up right here and then you're gonna have to rip or pull your legs down and you're gonna land like kinda hunched over so to land your cork through with your chest up um, I would tell you to kick your leg to here you're gonna kick to here and then you're gonna twist from here so you're going to twist on your way down to here, and then you can open up and stand up out of it. That's the set for your corkscrew. You've got to set into the gainer before you twist. Now, if you're going for a corkscrew, you're going to be giving it a lot of flat spin. Um, so you're not going to have to worry about going inverted. So you're not going to be inverted. Um, but you can, you're going to try your best to be inverted because that's going to give you the set you need to bring your legs all the way down and your chest back up. Um, that's, I mean, that goes for all flips and twists that um, you're landing with your chest low to set farther into the flip. Um, so for a corkscrew, no matter what setup you're going out of, you can even do a, um, like a, a pivot step or like a, a reverse step or slingshot step, What it's all the same step. Um, corkscrew or gainer full just on command depending on how you pull your body and so if you're gonna do a corkscrew you're gonna pull your left shoulder down you're gonna pull it down like you're gonna pull it down this way rather than up and twisting like that and so if you set inverted and then pull your your um, your shoulder down that's you're gonna set inverted here's your your shoulder and here's your leg when you're coming up, if you pull it down, it's going to pull your body to the side. Whereas if you come up and twist just here, you're just going to twist inverted. So your corkscrew, really the main points of your corkscrew are doing a, a, a doing your full-on gainer and um, twisting once you're, you've hit about halfway through that gainer. Once you're on your way down, start your twist. Um, and that's going to pull your chest up and your feet down because that if you gainer if you put all that momentum into your feet into your gainer you're going to twist and that your momentum is going to stay in your feet the entire time so it's going to pull your feet down which is going to make it not it's not going to make it higher well it will but it's not going to make it really high it's going to give it more flip so that it's you're done with the corkscrew before you land and your chest is up allowing you to swing it through or pop out of it do stuff out of it build on it do more kicks more twists whatever so that's I mean that's a a corkscrew 
breakdown of how I think of a corkscrew, how I, you know, teach, sometimes teach people to do it, how, and how I do it. That's how I do my corkscrews. And that's how I think about the set for the corkscrew. So, take what you will from it, but that's, that's pretty much how I'd explain a uh, corkscrew, so.